Are you tired of downloading third-party software to be able to use SSH inside of Windows 10? Hi, I'm Wes Bryan, Edutainer at IT Pro TV, and I want to show you how you can use SSH built right into that Windows 10 machine. So I'm on my Windows 10 desktop, and if I go to the lower left-hand portion of the taskbar, the Start tile, and I right-click on it, we're going to scroll all the way up to the top to this option known as Apps and Features. Now, when the apps and features in the Windows settings location opens up, you'll see apps and features right here in the middle of your list, and you're looking for the little blue jump link that says optional features. That's going to take us to where the optional features that are currently installed are located. But we don't have the open SSH client installed, so we're going to choose add feature. And when we choose add feature, we can look through this list and it's sorted alphabetically and we should find the open SSH client. And if we click that, it'll give us the ability to go ahead and install this. All you need to do is click the install button and you'll see it disappear. But if you choose the back uh, um, arrow just to the left of settings, you're going to notice that it is now installing this optional feature. And this is great because in order to use SSH to connect from your Windows 10 machine, let's say back to your Linux servers, you'd have to go and buy a third or download a third party software such as Putty. It's great software, but it's an extra step. This gives you the ability to use it natively inside of the operating system. Let me show you how this works. Now, in order to test this out, I've got a Linux server already stood up in the background and we're going to use SSH here in Windows 10 now that we have it installed to connect to that server. Uh, you have to do this inside of your PowerShell. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to right click and we're going to choose Windows PowerShell. Now in the Windows PowerShell interface, what we're going to do is we're just going to type SSH, then a space, and I'm going to type the username of my Linux server that I'm trying to connect to, an at symbol, and then the IP address to that Linux server. In this case, it's 192.168.107. Dot one thirty two, and we're going to hit enter and you'll notice that it's asking me, do I trust? Do I trust this machine? It's presenting me with a certificate, just like in any SSH third party software. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in yes. And now it's added that and notice that it's challenging for me, me for my password. So I'm going to go ahead and authenticate and you'll notice that my prompt changes from a traditional PowerShell prompt that we see right here. And I'm now in a bash prompt and I can see that by running things like time. And you'll notice that the time command is present. I can run things like LS and the LS. Eh, let's do it with a dash LA and I can see my home directory located within my Ubuntu server, my Linux server. This is how you can get SSH running on your machine and use it in your Windows 10 environments. If you like what you've seen here today, be sure to check out our playlist for more Windows 10 tips and tricks. As well, be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel.